Good morning, it's Wednesday, and on this rainy Wednesday we read Luke fourteen twenty-five through 35. Now great crowds accompanied him, and he turned and said to them, If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple." Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Otherwise, when he's built, laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king, going out to encounter another king in war, will not sit down first and deliberate whether he is able with 10,000 to meet him who comes against him with 20,000? And if not, while the other is a great way off, he sends a delegation and asks for terms of peace. So therefore, any one of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple." Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It's of no use either for the soil or for the manure pile. It's thrown away. Whoever has ears to hear, let him hear. This is a little bit one of those grab bag things where Luke's got all this information on things Jesus said, and he sort of piles them up. Um, we don't know that Jesus said these things right in this order. It doesn't really matter. Because um, all of a sudden he changes topics from uh, hating your family to counting the cost and deliberating whether you can do something and then being salt. So it's a little bit of a grab bag. Um, he talks, though, a couple times about carrying your cross. And in, in American English, bearing your cross has become a, an idiom for something like um, um, living with a burden. It's just my cross to bear. You know, my, my um, family member is old and grumpy and half senile, but it's just my cross to bear. Or my neighbors are so mean and, and, and unreasonable, but that's just my cross to bear. That is not what Jesus means, okay? He is not talking about putting up with something that you really wish would go away. He's talking about picking up a big piece of wood and carrying it up the hill to the place where they're going to kill you with the piece of wood, crucify you. Um, and so if you're not willing to do that, to follow him up that hill to the cross, then maybe you need to rethink this whole, this whole business. That's a pretty stark um, demand. That's a pretty stark call to discipleship. If you want to follow me, guess where we're going? Up that hill. So be ready. Well, I, I don't think I want to go there, Jesus. I think I'll, 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 I'll obey you and I'll listen to you, but I'll stay here in the comfort of my own, my own home. Um, and Jesus is like, if that's what you want to do, do it, because where I'm going is going to be hard. Um, and he gives these examples of people who, who should stop and think before they commit to something because it's going to be difficult and expensive. It's going to be dear to them. It's going to cost them a lot. Um, good old Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote a book called The Cost of Discipleship, um, in which he echoes a lot of things that seem very familiar to me, and I went and looked up one of the books that he used as a source, and I realized he took a lot of this stuff from Kierkegaard, so... There you go, Bonhoeffer scholars. I'm sorry. Um, he did take a lot of it from Kierkegaard, who, who had a very similar, though more cryptic sort of message, and that is, um, when, as Bonhoeffer put it, when Jesus calls a man, he bids him come and die. Um, there's, no, there's no, you know, messing around with Bonhoeffer. 
and any kind of preaching that says, well, you don't really have to, you don't really have to do all that stuff. That's for special people. That would be what Bonhoeffer calls cheap grace. So look out for the cheap grace around you that, 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 um, how does he put it? Well, that, that, that calls you to follow, but doesn't cost anything. Um, because that's not really uh, following Jesus. So there you go. Wow, that's a cheery thought for this morning. Have a great Wednesday. We will see you tomorrow.